Chipotle has two types of beans. They got the black beans and they got the pinto beans. Pinto beans are usually used for the refried situation. But what Chipotle went and did, they were like, screw all the vegans and vegetarians that like beans, we're gonna put bacon into our pinto beans. So we chose to do that very recipe today. Mm. Will you grab my knife, please? Sorry, it's all the way over there. You slimy bastard. So the first step to bacon pinto beans is, of course, I'm just gonna chop these the in half. I'm gonna chop them in half so they can fit in the pan. I'm gonna chop the bacon. Nothing in half. wrong with that. What I make this that. I'm gonna strain the beans of all their weird juices. Yeah, you know, juice in beans is great, but the juice that comes with the beans, that's kind of nasty. It's really just water. When you're cooking bacon, it's really up to you. If you want it to be really small and crispy and like dust, then go ahead, but good luck, because it's not gonna be good. <laughs> you want it to be meaty, make sure you watch it, you flip it, you don't cook it too high, you don't want the bacon to burn. You want it to be crispy and chewy. It's gonna be so good in these beans, I swear. It's talking to me. Rendering bacon, rendering bacon. When you're cooking bacon, there's gonna be a lot of the fat left in the pan. All the white stuff that's fat, it's rendering, it's cooking down, it's getting in there. Now the cool thing about that is you can use that fat to cook. You can even strain it, let it cool, give it a strain, and you can have bacon fat that you can use for all kinds of cooking. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook an onion right in there, and you've never tasted a better cooked onion. Delicious bacon fat infused. Oh yeah. Come on. Bacon fat, onions, that's a good way to start your beans. Just let those saute on a medium heat. Look at those onions. Wow, that was a good idea, Mike. Have to say it, don't say it often, that was a very good idea. And then we're gonna take our bacon and we're gonna give it a chop once it's drained. The bacon, strain the bacon. We, we sort of know this recipe. We look online, There's, there aren't actual recipes on the Chipotle website, but they tell you what's in it. They tell you it's seasoned with spices and it's got bacon. Believe it or not, we can cook because we can do this. If you can do this, that means you can cook. So we're gonna toss the bacon in at this point, the beans. Beans and bacon are in there. And turn the heat off. There's already a lot of heat in the pan. You don't wanna overcook those beans, so just turn the heat off a little bit. What is this, paprika, a little paprika in there. Cumin. A little salt and pepper. Just whatever you want, whatever you feel like. Like I said, you can always add more in your taste. And then Mike's just gonna add a little bit of stock. So you don't wanna add too much stock, just enough to give it some liquid. And don't overcook them, the beans are already cooked, so really you're just trying to warm it up in the stock. Give it a taste. Salt. Mega salt. Good spices, just a little more salt. Sometimes if stuff doesn't have much flavor, it's not because you don't have flavor in there, it's just because it needs salt. Salt helps bring it out. Shrek. Salt wakes your tongue up. It says, hey, guess what? There's other people here besides you. When well, we put I, all I would these put that on a goddamn burrito, come on. When we put all these together to make that burrito, just wait and you see, it's gonna be slow. Stick around. Mm. Mm. 